This is the solution to written homework 3. Find the slope of the secant line. Okay. <clears throat> so the slope of the secant line is delta y over delta x. Uh, which is f of 3 minus f of negative 2 divided by 3 minus negative 2. Because that's the change in y divided by the change in x. So let's do them uh, individually. So I can see that the change in x, 3 minus negative 2, well that'd be 5. And then now I'm going to do each one of those individually. f of 3 is 2 times 3 squared plus 4 times, uh, so that's 2 times 3 cubed. 2 times 3 cubed plus 4 times 3 uh, minus 7, that's 59. And f of negative 2 that would be 2 times negative 2 cubed plus 4 times negative 2 minus 7 is negative 31 and therefore the change in y is 59 minus negative 31. So 59 plus 31 is 90. And as a result, <coughs> the slope is the change in y over the change in x, which is 90 divided by 5, and 90 divided by 5 should be 18. It is. So that is the slope of the secant line. Okay, find the equation of the secant line. So for a point, <coughs> conceptually the way this works, is that we already have two points that are on the function because the function somehow looks like this, more or less. And in part A above, we already plugged in negative 2 to find this value, and we already plugged in 3 to find this value, so that's not to scale, obviously. So we already have two points. Uh, I guess I'll use this one. So we know from above that this is the point 359. <coughs> so we already have a point, and then we found the slope. The point is that the slope is m is equal to 18. <coughs> so it's just a matter of plugging it into the point slope formula. y minus y1 is m multiplied by x minus x1. <coughs> so y minus 59 is 18 multiplied by x minus 3. So y minus 59 is 18x minus uh, 54. Yes. And then add 59 to both sides. y is 18x plus 5. And that's the answer.